23 chloroethane can be used to make sodium proper note proper note with so first thing to take note of is chloroethane actually has two carbons whereas sodium proper note has three carbons so somewhere along the line we must actually add a carbon to the chloroethane this is what we call the step up reaction and chloroethane is a halogen alkanes stepping up of halogen alkanes adding carbons to halogen alkanes require either using potassium cyanide or sodium cyanide I'll draw the structures chloroethane if we add sodium cyanide or pot um, potassium cyanide to it the CN actually replaces the CL right, we end up with a nitrile group so this is actually Q and Q if we were to hydrolyze it using acid if we were to hydrolyze it using alkali this CN will become COOH if you use acid it will become COO salt carboxylate salt if you use alkali so in this case reacting with sodium hydroxide will change the CN to COO minus and because we use sodium hydroxide okay, we will get a sodium propanoid do not confuse it with so hydrogen cyanide HCN hydrogen cyanide is used to step up the carbonyls step up ketones and step up aldehydes right potassium cyanide sodium cyanide is used to step up halogen alkanes so don't confuse between hydrogen cyanide and potassium cyanide Aqueous sodium hydroxide reacts with one bromopropane to give propan proper one or so how is this mechanism described we have bromopropane one bromopropane so the bromine is attached to the tail end carbon and then we have the hydroxide that comes from the sodium hydroxide what actually happens is because bromine it is electronegative more so than carbon it will cause the carbon to be partially positive the bromine will be partially negative and then this OH minus with its lone pair here will be attracted to a positive region this is a electrophile sorry this is a nucleophile it likes positive regions so it will want to attack the carbon that's currently holding the positive charge so a curly arrow from the lone pair of the hydroxide to the partial positive carbon Pentane is reacted with chlorine and then we get this this molecule coming out where there is two chlorines attached that means two hydrogen is removed and then replaced by two chlorines each molecule contains one chiral carbon so which one is possible we will use the options and do a bit of trial and error so they are saying that position one and position three Five, right? Position one replaced by chlorine. Position three replaced by chlorine. I will leave out the hydrogen just for neatness sake. Let's check the chiral. Okay. This is non chiral, it's joined to two other hydrogen. Non chiral, this is joined to one, two, 
three hydrogen and four different groups so it's joined to four different groups it has one chiral carbon over here this is not chiral this is not chiral right if you were to try the rest you realize that some of them will have no chiral and some of them might have two chirals uh, which is not what we want because we only want one chiral carbon okay maybe for i'll try c just to extend the idea one two three four five they say position two and position three position two and position three now looking at position two you realize that we have actually one two three and four so this is actually chiral look at this carbon we actually have one two three and four so actually this is also chiral right but the question actually wants us to figure out the molecule that has only one chiral so right, this option is also out right, can also try b and d you realize that only a has one chiral carbon 